Hey, it's episode two of season three of 13 Reasons Why. Episode one threw so much stuff at me and that I wasn't sure what's going on. We know that Bryce is missing, but where is he? Is he dead? Um, did somebody have reason to kill him this season? <laughs> we had plenty of reason to hurt him in previous seasons. Maybe not kill him. Uh, but I don't know. If I was to guess this early on, I would say no, he's not dead. Um, the golden rule of TV is a person's not dead until you see them dead. So if they're just off screen, I imagine he's going to turn up somehow in some state. Uh, maybe it's not as bad as we think it is. You know, he could be tied up somewhere by somebody who has a vendetta against him. Or he could be on a an island sipping cocktails, you know, enjoying the birth of his new child. You know, there could be any number of things. Uh, interesting to introduce Annie. New character, have her be the voice in the first episode, maybe the voice in all the episodes. Um, and she is close to the Bryce family because she, her mother works for them. So she's also close to Clay and they have secret. You know, she taught him how to speak some language. Uh, which indicates that they're very close. Now, how Clay has time to learn all that stuff when he's busy obsessing over everything in his life and inside his own head, who knows? But a lot of time has passed since the end of season two, at least a year, I would imagine. Uh, and a lot of story has happened since then, and a lot of story was alluded to in the last episode. So, we'll see where it goes. Um, Do, 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 do. You know, normally I break for YouTube. I say, hey, let's talk to YouTube. Let's just leave. This is this is the YouTube intro too. Hello, YouTube. You've just been listening to the Patreon intro. But this is also the YouTube intro. Um, mostly because I don't, I don't really know where to start. I don't want to start theorizing too early. Um... Because imagine theorizing at the start of season one of 13 Reasons Why. You'd be, you'd be thinking Justin is the worst. Let's get Justin. And Justin turned out to be, you know, kind of a nice guy. You know? Now, <laughs> he was threatening to do something about Jensen in season one. Like, you know, <laughs> like seriously do something about him. Um... Violence was implied, but that was just for story purposes to throw us off. And that's that's the thing about this show. Story pur purposes to throw us off. So let's see what kind of story they bring up in episode two to throw us off the scent. Um, I'm going to believe the opposite of whatever we're supposed to believe. And that might be a fun way to approach this season. So Bryce is fine. Um, the reason he's missing is a happy reason. <laughs> Annie knows him better than other people because she knows his nice side. And his... <laughs> uh, we'll find out. We'll find out. We'll find out lots of stuff eventually. Let's just get into episode two. Now in episode one, they had a bike lock in the evidence bag. What are you going to have in the evidence bag this episode? Why do they have an evidence bag if there's no crime? Which is coming? Oh, what's this? That looks like... I don't know what that looks like. Oh, and there was so much time jumping in episode one. Disorienting. Thought the nightmares went away. They're back. Everyone's a liar. Oh, it's Annie again. Are you a liar? Annie? If you're breathing, you're a liar. Keep out of these people's mess. What, what mess? What's going yes, on? Mommy, I'm a liar. No question. 
The truth can be dangerous. This sounds like she's in an interrogation room, given evidence. He hasn't touched his bank accounts or his credit card since Friday. Clay Jensen was lying to you all. Something happened at that high school homecoming. Hope we get to see it. Like I told you, I didn't know Clay that well. Liar! I was hoping that you and me could talk. Talk to Tyler. It's just, it's kind of important. Be friends with him. Yeah, totally. Don't I mean, be distracted, Clay. He needs, he needs, you know, normal friendship things. Oh, and <laughs> the more saturated it is, the further back in time. I've got it now. A schedule. Who picks him up in the morning? Who takes him between what classes? After school? People do get better. They do. I guess we get to summer and see how he is. Do you? It wasn't even. And she thinks something happened at homecoming. Something did happen. You think he just left town? Or he's hiding. Okay. Clay does not know. 100%. I think. <laughs> Maybe Zach knows. Crazy night, I guess, so you didn't see him. Who took these pictures? Probably Tyler. You know? Here, you think they're gonna want to recruit me after they hear that my knee has two surgeries? No. I'm fucking done. Why wouldn't you have reported him? But Zach's anger at Bryce was about more than football. You see, Zach had a secret. But I wouldn't give for a good uh, chronological go. story. The moment you all been waiting for. You counted up your votes. Zach, and Zach, the Zach, Zach. In. Zach Dempsey. Monty's like that guy. Reckon Dempsey? Oh, he's he's coming for you. We've had a certain kind of culture here on this team. We've raped girls. I think we should cut that out. We're gonna be better. And my first action as captain, Monty, or you're off the team. Never show your face here again? Coach, come on. Coach, I, I won the vote. Everyone voted joke. for me. This is fucking bullshit. Hey, you know the whole team voted for me. You know it all doesn't come down to the vote. You can think about the team or you can think about yourself. Okay, I think about myself. It's not fair. Get out of my way. Did they just sway at Zach's way because they, they prefer Zach? Whoa! Yeah, Monty says you've got some exciting new ideas. What are you going to do when things get tough, then? No need to worry. Yeah? Is your mom going to help? Because last I remember, <laughs> she's the only one with an Holy actual shit. dick in your family. Don't do it, don't. You should walk away. Yeah. Right now. You want to take a shot? Ooh, he's not worth it, Zach. Not worth it. Exactly. We all knew Bryce and Zach were at odds, but Zach had another secret he was keeping. Too many secrets. Hey, hey Chloe. Hey, number 85. Hey there. Yeah. We haven't seen so, her in a while. For luck. Oh, it's the thing he was... Ooh. Are they gonna get together, you Zach and her? Are my new hero. So you're her hero, but Bryce is still her boyfriend. Be careful, Zach. Man, shut up. Did that move? He's hot. He's too hot. I don't trust too hot. I don't trust random new people, Annie. Everybody trusts me. I see the hero that holds everything together. She's very full on. This is the present. The rabbit's foot, it's gone. Chloe gave it to him last spring. Who? Mm -hmm. Bryce's girlfriend, Chloe. I think Chloe's at Sacred Heart, but we don't talk anymore. No. Nope. She moved. Were Chloe and Zach ever anything? Just friends. Mm -hmm. I know Chloe had secrets. Ooh, don't say it. Like? She was pregnant. She said it. By Bryce. Did she get rid of it, or did she keep it? Fuck! Did you do? What'd you tell him? Uh, I swear, nothing. Cause I hate to have to teach you the same lesson twice. Jesus! Everybody Remember that in season two with these two? Oh, who oversaw that? Alex is buffing up now, so he can, he can, he can. I think that's why we saw him do that. He can like push back against me. Tyler alone, or what? Or I'll hurt you. Ooh, see. Whoa, he's got a knife. Monty, back down. You don't want to mess with Alex. Speak to him again, I'll open you up and watch you bleed. Oh shit. Shouldn't you be in school, son? My future is here, sir. So, uh... I'm 30 years old. How can I help you? I'm Tony. I haven't seen Bryce in months. Why are you talking to me about him? Yeah. Bryce's mother pushed him. Were you at the homecoming game? Was he? I was. Well, everybody was. Were you part of that fight? I was not. I really wish you'd go to school. Every um, kid should graduate. Hmm? Did you hear about Bryce? What? He's missing. 
That's one theory off I the table. Heard, but we broke up like months ago. Sorry. Uh, we know. Did you ever tell him? We know you were pregnant. That you were pregnant. Uh, Clay, who is this person? And can I punch her? Did you tell Bryce? No. She didn't tell. Thanks I want to. I want a timeline. I want to. Is this like right after spring fling? Sorry, I've just been really busy. No, things haven't been right between us. About the Polaroid. Yeah, because all that's over. Is it though? Is it over for you? Jesus, Bryce. Didn't think he'd bring it up. Chloe, I fucked up. I'm I'm fucked up. I betrayed your trust. Mm. I want to change, Chloe. I want to be better for you. Just please don't give up on me now. Well, wasn't expecting this scene from him. And now I He does seem different. He definitely seems different. That wasn't just an act, you know? That wasn't just season one, season two Bryce manipulation. That seemed like Bryce, you know? Underneath. I'm running for president because Jessica, I want change. Jessica. Bitch. Monty. God damn it. You know what? Fuck you, Monty. <laughs> You'll, you'll get elected for that alone. I was raped. Oh, shit. School. And I stayed silent. It's all coming out. But I am no longer staying quiet. No more. Easy election win. Easy election win. She needs to talk to somebody. Are you okay? He was kind to Hannah as well. When she was 13. Zach, I'm pregnant. She told him to. Oh, shit. Are you okay? No. I don't know what to do. I think Zach is going to help her through this, be there with her. Do you think I'd be a good mother? Yeah. I think you'd be an amazing mother. If that's what you want to do, I'll help you. Tell everyone that it's mine. Holy shit. Think about that. I'm, I mean... Oh, right, because it... <laughs> I'll raise it with you. I get it. I get it. Maybe someday, just not now. You think that's bad? No. I think it's right. You'd say that to whatever I decided. Yep. Yes, I would. <laughs> Can you explain to me the circumstances around this pregnancy? Uh, do I have to? When you return on Saturday, we will take your blood pressure. What were those questions about? It'll help relax you. The what was that question about? And your boyfriend didn't use a condom? Like, what? What? What does it matter what the answer is? I felt very judgy. Chloe kept a secret from Bryce. Bryce? Although his mother had seemed to guess. Ooh. Maybe Bryce will find out a different I way. Apologize. My father doesn't like taking his meds. I bet he was a really nice man before he got sick. He Ooh. wasn't. Nope. I was raised by a cruel man, and I escaped him by marrying another. Some strong stuff this episode, I have to say. Dialogue and action. My son is no different, Chloe. Think about what you're doing for you. Oh, Jesus, there's... Come on. Let's walk you past the crazies, huh? Thank you. Isn't there, like, a back entrance? This is hard enough. Well, it should be hard. Killing is a sin. What the it's hell? It's not too late. This is fate of two... Holy shit, she's one of them. Take Jesus Sweetie, if this boy's your making heart. you nervous, he doesn't love you, <laughs> what, is, what is the... This show doesn't shy away from... Bullshit scenes like that. So I like it. Now you're gonna feel a pinch. I can't believe they show the whole thing. You know, they did that with Hannah's suicide too. You know, other shows would just fade to black and it would be just be over with. This one just like sits with you there as it's happening. It's fascinating that we've had a Chloe focused episode. And I'm gonna pay you back. You don't ever have to. Yeah, he paid for it. I'm not coming back to Liberty next year. Okay. New start. Fresh start. Yeah. Is he doing these? So, yeah. We hang out sometimes. And you didn't tell us earlier because. None of your business. Oh, wow, you landed that one. Bye, Tyler. Tyler. Are you okay? <laughs> Didn't know it was Tyler. That's funny. All the people who were getting bullied are trying to learn to defend themselves. Alex Standle. I think he's a fucking homo. Yeah? Mm. Why? He graduated a full psycho after not shooting himself in the head. Uh, 
that guy's like, okay, whatever, dude. Maybe don't get your psychological insights from Monty. That's like... <laughs> Good, Zach's trying to not let that attitude that propagate. Listen, that thing we talked about, I'm dealing with it. You're all good. What was the thing? What's with the photographs? What's going on? Is he tracking his progress? You've been lying to me since the first time I drove you home. Oh, flashback to that, please. Here we are. <laughs> I can drive you up the hill. You don't want me to know where you live. Nope. My situation is complicated. The Chatham House. Is that where Bryce Walker lives now? It sure is. Lives. In the guest house. Well, you, you, you have to get out of there. I can't get out of there. It's where I live. <laughs> He's freaking out about Bryce. But the Bryce I saw seemed very much broken. Did you go to see the other side of Bryce? You know, right? She knows everything. About my probation and why I'm at fucking Hillcrest now. Not great, is it? It's what I deserve. Yeah, she's gonna see the better side of him, probably. He was having a hard time at his new school. The broken side? The real side? He told me all about it. Walker, get over here. Wallage. Uh, hello, fellows. Hillcrest sure isn't liberty. <laughs> no, it is not. No, it's not. Come on, man, a guy like you? What are you into? I can hook it up. What do you mean? I mean, when she passes out at a party and you fucking rape her. Oh! They're playing him. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, they're playing him. Look out! <laughs> what the fuck?! <laughs> I'm doing it right here! Come on, let's go! Yeah, Bryce is all about let's work things out right now. The thing is, Bryce wasn't a bully, you know? He was. Jesus. Nah, I'll talk about God. it later. His crew was, were the bullies. He was just sort of the above that sort of thing. Are you not even remotely capable of trying to straighten yourself out? Sadly, Mom, I think the answer is clearly no. It's it's very interesting what they're doing with Bryce this season. Like Zach, I hide my pain quite well, which is why I saw Bryce's so clearly. Yeah, everybody in the world can see Bryce's pain right now. You don't need any superpowers for that, Annie. He ain't hiding shit. Is everything okay? Why does doesn't it look okay? <laughs> Chloe just broke up with me. Ooh, it's the day she broke up with me. Sorry, I'll give you some privacy. Could you maybe stay for a second? He's vulnerable right now. It's not just it's not just a trick. Sure. Ooh. You can see the message. Do the the thing. But I soon realized the one he hurt most was Jessica Davis. Write her a note. Is Bryce trying to atone for things in this season? This is certainly the way they're portraying him so far. Every scene with him has been different. When by the end of this season, something's going to happen to Monty, for sure. That's why we have to keep an eye on uh, Tyler. Where are you going, Tyler? What's, where are we, why are we following you? Don't do. No, don't be doing anything stupid. Not going to do it. Sometimes I feel ashamed. No, do not feel that. Shame is what other people put on you. And Man. they make it like you have to own it or something, like but those you people don't. with the placards? Let it go. Homecoming night, you came to me straight from the hospital, right? Nope. Little holes, holes in his story? We'll find out, we'll find out. They're gonna find him, don't you think? Ooh. What are, who are we, what are we finding? Don't find his body. Don't do it. Show, don't do it, show. And Jessica found him before he got the chance. Ooh. I was going to say, given the way the episode was being framed, I was more concerned about Bryce doing something to himself than anybody else doing something to him. Because his life was just completely changed. He's tried to make up for nah, we haven't seen that properly his conversation with, with Chloe was a lot more reasoned and non-manipulative even though it was kind of manipulative in the fact that he was actually being nice and confronting the issue and then he's getting bullied at the new place and everything that makes him Bryce of old is gone uh his parents broke up. His grandfather's crazy. He's drinking again. He's broken. 
that could lead to him ending his own life. So that's what I would have been worried about before we just saw the body. Um, and that could still be the case. Certainly, I would believe that over any of our main cast doing anything to him. Um, that body was so decomposed, it was hard to make out if it was genuinely Bryce. If it is Bryce, and I think it is Bryce, then I'm sad to see him go because he's such a good character. And as much as you can't redeem the things he's done, it would have been nice to for him to become a more well-adjusted person um, going forward. Not turn into his father, not turn into his grandfather, but turn into somebody a little more like Zack, you know? But now he won't have that chance. And I think a lot of the flashbacks we'll see this season will show him in a better light. Uh, at least based on what we've seen so far this season. Um, yeah, a really good episode focused on Chloe and what she had to go through. Um, in the, after the first episode, I was like, ooh, Chloe? She was pregnant eight months ago. Might coincide with, you know. <laughs> Might have been nine months since impreg impregnation, and maybe she had the baby, maybe Bryce was gone, you know. But all that's gone now, because we saw what happened. Very brave of the show, and fitting with the show, that they showed the whole, didn't show the whole abortion process, but they showed enough of it, long enough, to make the viewing experience kind of uncomfortable in a way, but very real. And that's what they did with Hannah, Hannah's suicide. Um, they sit with it, they sit with the person going through it, and they don't shy away from it. They don't say, and then they did this. They actually show the process of them doing it, the length of time they're doing it for. Uh, they don't minimize it by showing it off, like talking about it off screen, or they 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 say they present it real, really. It's really there. It's really happening. And it was it was kind of a lonely process because Zach wasn't in there with her. You know? I kind of like her and Zach as well. I like Zach as a person no matter who he's with. So then Chloe wasn't very well liked last season. She wasn't very sympathetic of a character. Um, but she became one eventually, and in season two, in this episode especially, someone you can relate to. And yeah, it's nice. And even if it's just a friendship they have, a close one, that's that's fine. You know, that's... Um, I would have expected that it would have been better, or not better, closer. That something would have happened between them. Because it seemed all signs were pointing towards that. But if it's not that, you know, it's good to have friends. Tyler and Alex and Tony are all in a little group now, boxing. Alex is getting strong. Tyler is trying to get strong. But Monty is his trigger, you know? And that's why we saw him at the end contemplating jumping. Bad days. And Annie is going to get to, to know Bryce this season. She seems to know everything based on the far future. She's the only one who's been speaking in the far future so far. So she has all the information. Um, which was a little jarring in, season, in, in episode one. Because somebody we don't know has all the information and is talking about our characters that we have grown to love. As if she knows them. And you're like, who are you? <laughs> you don't know Clay. You don't know Bryce. Um, 
but uh, she's she's getting to know them, and we're going to see that happen. Now Jessica is just owning what happened to her and publicly owning it, so that the jocks can't bully her anymore, can't silence her. You know, she's the one who's standing up, being out there. Uh, it's ris- it's brave. It's very brave of her to do that. Um, and that's she easily won that landslide. Um, so yeah, the rest of the season, we're just gonna fill in the gaps. We've seen the end. We've seen the start. We've seen way back. We've seen the future. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Uh, until next time. Until episode three. Have a nice week. And yeah. Sometimes it's healthy to throw those vases, you know? (laughs) See you next time.